Hi, y'all. <laughs> As my cowboy friend in Florida says, hi, y'all. Um, Dusty Star Williams, how are you doing? How's my lens? Ah, it's all dirty. Let me clean them. Sorry, guys. I hate to do this to you, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Can you see me now? Is that a little better? I think it's a little better. Anyway, quit looking at my nose. Um, fix this a little bit. There we go. Uh, uh, it rained yesterday <laughs> while I had the horses outside. I know I hate to do that, guys. I hate to leave the horses, especially on a cold day uh, <clears throat> in the rain. Uh, for one, the horses catch a cold, which the baby has. She's got stuff coming out of her nose hole, one of her nose hole. And they tear out my paddock, Jack. Look at this. Robins are out. Uh, right here is nice and green stuff right there. But, <clears throat> yeah, they tear up my paddock pretty badly. So I'm gonna, it's going to be like a week before I let them out again. Oh, there goes the duck. Just took off in the pond. See it? I don't know if you guys can see it, but if you did, congrats. Uh, this morning. Got up early this morning. <clears throat> And isn't this beautiful out, guys? Yeah, it's overcast. The wind is mild, very, very mild, but it is cold. It's like 40, I think it's like 40. So it's not really that cold, but it's chilly. Um, oh, guys, <clears throat> my brain is froze. My brain is froze. Yes, I got a brain. And I got to scoop this stuff. Uh, so, um, I had to take Tori to the driving uh, testing thing in Byron Center, Byron Center, Michigan. This is Dirk, by the way, from Michigan. It's about closing in on 11 o'clock. I know it's late. I did do the horses. You can see me here. Hi. Hi, guys. Look at my bow legs. Um, girls are doing good. Hi, girl. Girls are doing very good, and yes, I like big butts because they, because I cannot lie on horses. Look at that beauty! Oh, she's such a sweetie. Yes, yeah, you're good, girl. She's got a nice forelock. I love it. First horse with any forelock at all. Look at her forelock. Nothing, but she's she's gorgeous, guys. <laughs> she's got a big butt, but she's beautiful. And then baby horse, of course, right here. Oh, I know the lights out. It's dark in here. I just finished the stalls. I don't do a her stall very often. Hi, sweets. Ah, oh, you can't even see her. Ah, oh, the silhouette. Hi, sweetie. She's a gorgeous little girl. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> anyway, um, so stalls are clean. Uh, I made several mistakes this morning. One <laughs> was not knowing that Tori was going to, not remembering that Tori was going to have her driver's life lessons for her license. Um, I might as well walk into the, since we're in here, it's dark. <sighs> oh, I got a light in here. I like to keep it on 24 seven. I'm gonna put a larger LED array up in here, or probably right here, a big lamp. And that's gonna stay on 24 seven, 24 seven, 24 seven. Yeah, anyway. Um, <sighs> A nice light that's going to stay on all the time uh <clears throat> and at least brighten this place up this is so dark and dingy i hate dingy dingy is uh, uh no no in my book i don't know what to do with these bags guys this is for the sawdust these are here for the grains are from the grain <sighs> and these are from the sweet mixes so many bags there's another one it's just full and <clears throat> i was thinking i would use them for something i got ideas but I just don't know. Um, green situation is okay. I get a little nervous when it gets about this time. So the horse, everything's done. And again, I'm so happy uh, Tori's got her drive or passed her driving thing. How sweet is that? Let me open these doors, get a little bit of breeze going through here. So the doors are open now. I gotta find a place for this organ. Um, this is going to be my music studio, guys, by the way. All these 
things over here are going to be hidden someplace else. I don't know where. Uh, probably, gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I want this as my mu music room. Uh, music and also painting. Because I'm going to start doing more paintings and giving them away. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, now, if you guys have been watching my videos, um, I did... I got some flowers in here, guys. These yellow ones are new. These bright red ones are new. And these blue ones are new. Uh, these blue ones, this green leaves here, and these yellow ones. I got to cut the stems down a little bit. Um, they grow. And then as they grow, they actually produce this little tag here. And it says what these are. These are called re yellow, yellow ran, ran a kudus. Blah, 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 blah. $7.99. Are you kidding me right now? So, oh, okay. whoops. So they grow, and when they grow, they come with these things here so you know what they are. So when these things grow, they come with little identification tags for them so that uh, you know what they are. Ah, uh, update. Trailer update. I didn't do a jack on this thing. Hi, puppy. You're doing good. Uh, got some bottles here. I'm going to make a little... If I, if, it, this, if I can claim these, I'm going to make a little shelf and uh, put them up someplace up there. I, mean, I don't know. Somewhere. Nice and high. We up firm and high. Um, I did buy some... I think I might have showed you this. I bought this. I don't have any junk... Um, half inch drive you know so now I have a uh, junk um, half inch drive <sighs> this thing cannot keep be stayed in here because the kids will mess with it they're constantly playing with these tools uh, I did buy some steel guys if I can find them oh shoot I see one I bought two of these here let me turn this light on here pull this cord here and watch this magic boom indirect light comes in woohoo I bought two of these. I think it's 3 16 wall. Plenty big for my trailer. The four inch part is perfect. If you would watch my videos, you'd see why I needed them four inches. Pretty happy with uh, that stuff. And very cheap. I thought it was going to be expensive. Central Iron Steel in Grand Rapids, north. And I bought two of these. One, the other one is way over uh, there. I don't know if you can see it. So I got two of those. And that's for the trailer hitch. For my trailer. Oh, this here. Um, I was going to go to lunch for Zane, but I'm not feeling right. So this is going to go. This push button here. Click, click, click. Some alligator clamps. Alligator, hey alligator. And that goes on to here to start this up. I'm afraid I might have mucked something up. Maybe some fuses blew. But I need Zane to work on this uh, starter. And this, I need him to work on my clutch. So. Um, I did send him a note, and he says, yes! So, he's my mechanic. Uh, did nothing with this thing. Oh, when are you going to get this thing going, Dirk? Well, I'm still hoping Zane can get it going this year yet, this year. This will be my life project, this car right here. It's a little MGB, and look at this. Here's the rack and pinion here, right? See that? And look at this. One, two three four bolts is all it takes well of course you got to pop these off here and here and i can replace some of this all this stuff all this rubber stuff has to be replaced but i get to do that stuff on my own leisure at my own leisure i gotta buy a piece of two by four that's gonna go across here in here little holes here i'm gonna tap them and the two by four will hold this thing up here the transmission up so when i pull the engine it's not going to drop off Thanks for the heads up, Zane. So I'll do that. But this is a fun job, guys. This this one's really fun. You know, I did 80% of the of the Corvette. Zane's thinking, yeah, sure, Dirk. I did, Zane. <laughs> you did the smart stuff. The smart stuff told me what to do, and I got to do it. Um, 
the Mopar, yeah, he did 100% of that. I didn't touch that thing. I was going to mess with that. And the, this thing here, I will do quite a bit of it, and he will do a, quite a bit of it. So I, I want to call this one a 50-50 project. Yeah, I think so. That's fair. You know what's really cool about this car, guys? It's uh, an English car, right? An English-British. And, uh, yeah, see, Zane's got to fix this. Hear that? Hear that? Uh, I know I showed you guys all this stuff before. It's old news. But uh, this is a British car. English. And guess what? They use standard bolts. What? Yeah, standard. How sweet is that? All right, guys. Uh, I got to get out of here. Um, I'm just not feel. Oh, see, the, the other mistake I made, guys, was I ate breakfast before I did the horses again. So basically what happened was... Uh, I forgot to turn that light out. What happened was uh, Tony gave Chrissy, or uh, Tori, $8. Are you kidding me? What, what can you buy for $8 to go to McDonald's? Eight bucks. So uh, we went to uh, McDonald's after I picked up Tori from the driver's training thing. And uh, I bought a, a bacon, or a steak egg bagel. And I ate that. And it's sitting right in my gullet. Anyway, yeah. Oh, I did have a doctor's appointment yesterday, which was April Fool's Day, April, April 1. And uh, there's the, uh, the hemi, the hemster. And uh, a pre-operation for my knee visit. And everything looked good. My blood pressure wasn't bad. She said the top number was kind of high, but not bad at all, she says. Kathy said it was really good, too. So, oh, uh, guys. So that was the Hemi you saw, and here's the vet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait for summer, guys. This little girl is going to take off like a bat out of beep. Yeah, this one's going to go fast. <laughs> So many projects, guys. So anyway, that's my story. I know my hair is a mess. I'll fix that up. I'll fix my hair all up. Um, open mic night tonight. Am I going to go? I hope I feel like it. We'll see. Allie's coming with uh, Titus and Tetra. Yeah. I like messing with those kids. We have so much fun with those kids. And, uh, oh, yeah. and I'm done with chores. So I'm going to kick back. I bought a, a large, here's my painting again, guys. I'm pretty pumped up about this thing. Yes. Not done, obviously, but it will get done soon. Um, I bought a coffee, coffee. Let me set you down. You still there? Ah, got a pair of gloves stuck in my pocket. And I can't get it out with just one hand. Uh, from McDonald's, a coffee, but that coffee's got caffeine in it. So that doesn't do a whole lot of good for me, caffeine. Me and caffeine really don't mix that well. Where's my pocket? Oh, it's the other pocket. There we go. Here we go. Hope you guys are having a good day. If I didn't have breakfast this morning, my day would be a lot better. Right now, I feel really bloated. All right, see you guys. Yep, I got to get that going for Christian. See you, bye.